Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fleet Command as we continue on with the single missions. Before we start, I just want to say uh, CMO released another patch for the latest database and program update. Uh, it's still in beta, but it seems like they're up to weekly, uh, up to releasing weekly patches now. So I'm hoping it'll release soon, so we should be able to get back to that soon. In any case, let's continue on with the single missions here with Macho Madness, Brazil and Argentina fight over fishing rights. In the old days, a fleet commander had hours, even days, to plan a battle. Today, we have seconds, if we're lucky, minutes. He acts too quickly, innocents die. He hesitates, his men die. And that is very, very true, as illustrated by, honestly, events all around the globe, but like the Red Sea in particular right now. I think for naval operations really illustrates that. Mission tasking. By authority of the Admiral of the 5th Naval District with headquarters at Rio Grande, you are tasked to seek out and destroy Argentina military units operating within 25 nautical miles, 36 by 30 south, and 51 by 20 west. Assets under your command are the frigates Dodsworth and Basio, if available. You are authorized to destroy all Argentine frigates, avoid casualties to civilian ships and aircraft. Oh, we actually have both. That's kind of a surprise. As a kid, uh, I kind of hated this mission because they have shitty air defense. But if you could figure out, uh, if you can figure out how to work with that, it's not as bad. So we have the Rosales. But there's an Argentine frigate. It looks like we're detecting ships. The purple line, I believe, indicates that it's an undersea contact. So basically. Yeah, so basically our passive sonar is picking up these ships. I want you to slow, be as slow as possible. Ideally, they would not hear us. All right, we got our helicopters coming out, so that's why these are suddenly being resolved. There we go. Come up and put on your radar. Launch your other super links. All right, I need you to sprint over there. And we're gonna launch your other super links. Uh, for now, it seems like he has not detected us. I'm guessing this might be the other Argentinian frigate. Normally, I only get one frigate for this mission. Normally, the Argentinians only get one. So I'm a little surprised, actually, uh, that we have as many as we have. You'll see for air defense, we basically have a cannon. And that's it. So the AI doesn't really use helicopters at all, really. I don't even think they hunt for subs, really. Um, so like something like this, we're using heli embarked helicopters on like a cruiser or destroyer or frigate, ask it even, and using those to prosecute surface ships and basically act as your eyes while you uh, well, you keep your ships electronically silent. That is beyond the AI's ability. Which way? Is, okay, he is going that way. So he's at... He's honestly got better air defense. Okay, he also has ESSM sand. So yeah, we have the Broadsword Frigate. Uh, which these are vessels that used to be British, and then they were sold off to Brazil. Uh... I think the Rosales has a, the Aspora class. I think they have similar weapons. Guns, cannon, A244 torpedo exoset. Yeah, we got enhanced these barrel missile SAMs, cannon exoset, stingray torpedo. We don't even have a main gun. Interesting. Oh, I suppose they must have replaced that with the uh, exoset launcher, maybe. I assume those six barrel canisters are probably for the ESSM SAM. And then you can see there's two cannons amidships on port and starboard. So what we're gonna do here, cause they have, they do have cannon, but that's about their only, we might even not even need to do that. They have cannons, but they have no effective um, missile defense beyond that. They have their guns too, but those aren't gonna do much. So he can probably identify our helicopters and I'm making that assumption right now. 
I wish I had guns, like a three inch gun to determine what the range was, but I think our sea schools will probably be at the edge of that range. I guess we'll find out. Let's see, they have guns fore and aft, unfortunately. So there's really, we'll approach from aft because then they can only engage us with their rear gun. Uh, in the meantime, Intel, Argentina claims the 200 mile, mile wide economic zone off of their coast. Argentina has been harassing Brazilian commercial fisher, fishermen operating off the mouth of the Rio de la Plata. Known Argentine assets in the area are up to two Espora class frigates and embarked helicopters. Although their embarked helicopters never really do anything. So yeah, it's w one to two Brazilian ships versus one to two Argentinian ships. I kind of wish they had uh, given us a second Espora class frigate, but oh well. We're going to time compress here. At the risk of making ourselves a little bit louder on sonar, we're going to turn away temporarily. I want to increase the separation so we have the, uh, so we basically can um, get more warning at least if there's going to be a missile attack. You can see our SAM range isn't the longest. All right, I got to do this the old fashioned way, huh? But yeah, so far he hasn't seen us, so we're going to be able to get in the first strike. It looks like. And now. All right, let's medium bring him back down. Let's have him turn around. You, I want to make haste. Because I want to kind of coordinate a missile attack between these two if our salvo of Lynx missiles fails. Alright. We're basically set up here. So at this point, low, drop to low altitude, high speed to try to drop below his radar horizon. And we are going to attack him from the rear. So basically we're just seeing him from a combination. Yeah, it keeps switching between ESM and radar. So we're at the edge of his radar horizon here, basically. And if you look, let's see where his cannons are mounted. Actually, I don't see. Oh, OK, that front turret must be considered the cannon. So this is actually going to reduce his ability to engage our missiles. It should hopefully reduce the like unless he turns, he's not going to be able to engage uh, our missiles here with his cannon. All right, let's do a pop up attack here. He is on the edge of our range, so. Can do out. We'll do out. Let's close in. All right, and with this. Infantry, engage track seven. Eight. All right, hit him with everything you got. All right, drop down to slow speed. Second salvo, go. He's our radar guided, so we should not have any issues with uh, missile guidance. You can see he's turning to bring his cannons to bear. Is, is he? Nope, he sees them. I don't know why he, uh, he didn't even engage with his guns. Was he trying to engage our, uh, our ceilings? Let's see what happens here. All right, so you can see they're all coming in now. I think it's targeting 
I wonder if that first one hit his radar too, and that's why none of these others are really like, like he's not engaging them at all. Damn. Okay, he has suffered severe damage, 80% damage. At this point, it's a mercy killing. One more wave of Sea School of Missiles. And you can see him in the distance already. He's launched more chaff canisters, but I don't think they're going to help him. There's more chaff going off. Oh, it might have helped him. Oh, nope, they're curving in. All right, this chaff got that last missile. <laughs> All right, everyone is authorized to return the base. All ships return the station. New intelligence message received. The Ar Argentina frigate Rosales has been sunk. Mission complete. Report for debrief. Okay, nothing else there. So we'll let our helicopters come back to home. I kind of just want to split them up so that way they aren't competing to land and we don't get any bugs. Uh, 73, 61, 63... Okay, so now you can return the base, and you can return the base. The ones with 60% fuel are probably from the Dodsworth, while the 70% ones are from the... What is that? The, uh... Lazalio? I can't quite read. The, um... Unfortunately, whatever, like, glitch or setting that was causing games with, like, a 1920 by 1080 resolution or less to be upscaled 2x on my monitor, but still rendering natively at like the GPU level and where my OBS was capturing, that's gone now. It just renders at whatever resolution it's rendering on my monitor. So now like everything's smaller for me again, which is a little disappointing, but. All right, we got our super lynxes returning the base. All right, I want a little more separation between these two. All right, that should be enough. We have secured our shipping rights for Brazil, and we can see all these neutrals. We have an oil tanker, a couple fishing boats, and a fishing trawler. So all in all, very successful mission for the Brazilian Navy here. And with this, we'll actually almost be through the... Uh, the single mission, or not the single, the, the one star single missions. I think there's just uh, one more to, to go. Man, these guys used up a lot of fuel. This guy's probably going to be less than 50% when he returns. This guy might be 50% when he returns. And you'll notice when it gets to under 50%, it'll turn red to draw your attention to that. Be like, hey, you should maybe think about sending these guys back to base to refuel, because if you do run them out of fuel, they just crash. Is he giving priority to this guy? No, okay. Whew. I like how the time, uh, it seems to me like having the Forex time compression causes acceleration on the camera when it gets detached. I like how they always gotta come in from port. I suppose when they launch, they probably go to starboard. But let's, uh, let's see if we get that same amount of like drop off if we're at one X time compression. No, we do not. So there's an acceleration applied because of time compression. That's kind of hilarious. Also, look at that dithering there. Yeesh. Anyways, beautiful. I mean, obviously, this was very good back in its day, but still. In any event, we have completed our mission, so let's go to debrief. Results. Macho Madness. Mission effectiveness 100%. All of our vessels were in harm. The Rosalius was killed by a super lynx with Sea School ASM for 750 points. So sunk frigate Rosalis completed. Good job sinking the Rosalis Argentine frigate. Let me give you a similar message for the other ship, obviously. And then with both frigates destroyed, or well, all the frigates in the scenario destroyed. Frigates destroyed. Brazil's fishing rights have been protected from foreign intervention. 
this is another scenario where there's some um, randomness because like i said you could have one or either one or both of those brazilian ships and you could be facing either one or both of the argentinian frigates like i said i kind of wish they had spawned the second one but eh, what can you do random chance being what it is so they never detected the basali the bocio so you can see we kind of just we formed up we launched our attack because we came from the rear they didn't really have good coverage they tried to turn to bring their cannons to bear but couldn't and so we sunk them without any shots being fired in return and operations like that are about as smooth as it gets here <laughs> get prepared to see a lot messier in the future so with that thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then